Hey guys, Debs here, bringing you a video on uh, various Nintendo logos I've created out of Legos. And for this video, I thought I'd move on from the least impressive to the most impressive, which we, you will see in a short bit, because the first two are really quick explanations. I'd also like to say, take this time to thank the, the recent subscribers I've been getting. I've gotten like four or five subscribers in like the past week and a half or something, which doesn't really sound like a lot, but for me it's a lot, so... I'm glad people are subscribing for whatever reason. I don't really know what content on my channel you like the best. It's probably Lego videos like this one. But I just want to let you know I really appreciate it. Now, the first logo we have here is the GameCube logo. And this is a very self-explanatory thing. You could probably just make it from seeing it in the video. And I think the GameCube is a pretty good system. Um, I wish I had enough blue tiles to actually, like, tile the top layer of plates all over here, but... I don't, so, oh well. And this isn't something I normally have up, like, I <laughs> I built it yesterday, and this wasn't like the first time I built it, but I've like destroyed it so many times, just because it's super easy to build, and if I need blue pieces, it's pretty much the first thing to go. Next up, I have the Nintendo 64 logo. The Nintendo 64 is my favorite console of all time, I absolutely love the Nintendo 64. This is the first uh, Nintendo logo I recreated out of Legos. I'm trying to <laughs> recreate a Nintendo 64 alias, but uh, it's kind of a hard system to build. Now this isn't perfect, obviously, like, the colors are supposed to meet at the corner, there isn't supposed to be, like, one side of this end that's green, it's supposed to be all be blue, but you just can't do that with the Lego pieces, which is unfortunate, but, I mean, it still gets the job done, and, like, the top here is supposed to be red, the tops of the slopes are supposed to be red. So I guess I could sticker them, but that would just be kind of a pain, and I'd have to order stickers, and I'd have to cut all, out all the just red pieces, and that'd be a pain. And it still looks good the way it is, you know, it's easily recognizable, and so I think it's pretty cool. And finally, the piece de resistance of um, this, it's uh, LEGO Nintendo logo, and uh, I'm very proud of this, in fact, have it displayed in, uh, I guess what you would call the game room in my house, where I have all my video game systems. Have it displayed on top of the TV, and, uh, I'll actually explain this somewhat and deconstruct it for you. Now, first off, the letters are just slotted in there. The only thing holding them in is friction and gravity. If I could just flip this over, all the letters would probably fall out. Or maybe not all of them, but most of them. And, uh, this build was inspired by these mudguard pieces right here. And... <laughs> I don't really build LEGO cars a lot. I'm not really particularly good at it. I, I occasionally can make something tolerable in terms of a LEGO car, but this mudguard piece was just absolutely perfect for this LEGO. Now, due to the way the piece is designed, there's a small little gap on both sides over here, which is a shame, but really, it's, it's really no big deal. And it also has a small little half-plate offset it causes, so I had to insert these brackets here just to, uh keep it uniform. I think it looks really nice. It does look uniform. Unfortunately, the mudguard is angled while the middle part isn't, so there's that little jut right there, which I don't really care for too much, but there's nothing I can really do about that. So, the bottom and the top are just white tiles, and I absolutely hate white pieces, <laughs> or just things that are, that are the color white get dirty really easily, and it's kind of annoying, and especially like as you can see all these like dirty white pieces I have. And that's just unfortunate because it makes it look unclean and doesn't look as good as it really should. It should all be like sparkly white. But that's really no big deal. Now, I guess I'll take off the piece first. Oh, that's impressive. They actually all stayed in. There we go. <laughs> Alright, it took a while. Hold on, I'm still trying to get all this out. There we go. So that's what it looks like without um, the Nintendo logo in there. And the bottom part has tiles that are just uh, rested on here, like that, or like this. Because um, this is actually seven plates high at this point, and I want it to be five plates high, so I have to just kind of insert the tiles, because I can't have the pieces actually sticking the studs the way they're in there. I'm kind of explaining this kind of weirdly because it's, it's kind of early, I just woke up. So, you know, why not film a video when I'm tired and stuff? Um, the bottom parts are held in by 1x4 uh, bricks with 4 studs on one side. 
And uh, that's why it's kind of snotted like this. Like this is studs up, that's studs down, and that studs going that way. And I'll try to deconstruct it. It might be a bit of a pain. And I just don't want the brackets to fall out. Okay. I'm not going to take out these brackets. Um, you can see there's this little bar coming up over the brackets. That's so the pieces, or the these pieces, are out the proper distance. The tiles themselves, unfortunately, get pushed back just a little bit. But, again, it's no big deal. And here you can see the mud guards and how it's attaches to the top and attaches to the bottom, just those pieces. They're, these are really awesome pieces, like, it is very important to have a lot of these pieces, because they, they are useful in just about every creation, or like, moderately sized creation. And so, I made a right, made a right mess over here, just kind of slot it in, there you go, take the top one, pop it in. It's pretty simple. Now I'm going to try to put the lettering back in. I might change the camera angle just to get a better shot, so there might be an abrupt cut. Sorry about that. And there you have it, completely reconstructed. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.